gentlemen, could you introduce ourselves to our readers? Hi, I'm Dan Schlesser. I'm chairman of the board of DTS. Hi, I'm John Kirshner. I'm the president and CEO of DTS. I'm Patrick Watson, senior vice president, business development, DTS. So can you introduce us to your company? DTS is one of the world's leading entertainment technology companies. We develop um, solutions for the delivery of audio in the consumer electronics and in the cinema business. And we also uh, do video and picture enhancement and restoration services for films in Hollywood. Okay, so oh, since how long have you been around? Well, DTS was actually started in the very early 90s. Uh, it got its real start uh, after a number of its founder, Terry Beard. Uh, was introduced to Steven Spielberg and was able to display the theatrical technology. Uh, Steven then approached me to see if we could develop a process, uh, the audio process that, that would that would work well for the release of Jurassic Park. Uh, the very short story was that we did. Jurassic Park was a hit. DTS has, uh, went on to capture the theatrical business in the home entertainment area after that, and we've just continued to provide the best audio playback in all markets that we're in. Okay, so what do you have in store for us in the future? Namely, you know, the lossless formats and the new scheme of compression? Well, I think as a, as a company, DTS, there's a lot of exciting things going on. Uh, and I'll let Patrick talk about some of the consumer things. But um, one of the newest things DTS is doing is we are, uh, we are working to restore and enhance uh, feature films in Hollywood for high-definition delivery for broadcast television uh, and also for digital cinema. And in, in doing that, we are offering some of the world's leading um, services and technologies uh, to improve pictures. So just as DTS is known as a high-quality sound company, we are also now offering some of the best technology for uh, enhancing motion pictures. And then on the consumer side, Patrick can talk about what's happening uh, in the CE business. Um, one of the things I've been involved in for DTS is the development of the next generation standards and uh, to that end participated in both the HD DVD and BD for the upcoming next generation optical disc formats. And in both those formats, DTS HD will be a option for the content provider to put on the disc and mandatory DTS decoding internal to the player so that the consumer now can be guaranteed to get a DTS soundtrack should the studio choose to put that on and will play back directly from the player. Okay, so on all about actual theaters, any newest trends or any developments? In the, in the theater business, um, we continue to, to work on solutions for the transition to digital delivery. First, uh, for pre-show advertising, so before the film, advertisements run off of digital servers. And we are also working uh, to prepare products uh, for the transition to digital cinema. So we expect over the next five to ten years to see some fairly significant um, changes in the cinema business, and, and you're going to begin seeing um, digital presentations increasingly around the world uh, for art film, for major feature films, and certainly for uh, advertisements before before you watch your, your, your film on Friday night. Okay, but it was also my understanding that you were producing music yourselves. You know, do you have a label? We have a, uh, which we refer to as DTS Entertainment. That's correct. And it's a multi-channel uh, music label. We actually do primarily re-recording of existing titles in a multi-channel format, 5.1 format, the same format that, that is uh, standard at home theater and in motion pictures. Uh, we don't break new acts like a lot of uh, record companies do. We try to find those uh, albums that lend themselves uh, to really dynamic playback in a 5.1 format. Okay, so thank you, gentlemen, for your time, and uh, enjoy the cruise, same way as we do, and see you next year, maybe. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.